Hey y'all, Mythic Rare here, and thank you to all my A1 Day 1 subscribers. For anybody new or is just passing through, welcome. Today we are starting a brand new series on the channel that I have affectionately been calling Mini Diamond Painting Mayhem because Summer with Masters is ended and we are going to be gearing up for Trolls and Chills starting at the beginning of September and we're just kind of in one of those like break months. So I was looking around and seeing like there were a ton of these mini diamond paintings just like coming out of the woodwork because of like everybody just needs a break from uh, Summer with the Masters stuff and um, they were looking for some smaller kits, which honestly, like, some Summer with the Masters pieces are really, like, super duper big, and I do not blame people in the slightest. So, what I have is the paint gem houseplants edition and I think this is edition number two of that Ooh, so we have a list of everything that's in there supposedly we are getting ivy succulent anthurium asplenium Ceres, Poinsettia, Spathiphyllum, Slangonium, Cactus, Alocasia, oh, so like an owl plant, um, Calodium, Ficus, I don't know if Ficus was a succulent, okay, uh, Vericia, Nephralpis, Dracania and Coleus. Wow, so there's like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there are sixteen mini diamond paintings in this kit. And um I kind of just like wanted to showcase all who had many diamond paintings so that in the future if you're like wanting something snack size or like something as a palette cleanser in between those really really big canvases or maybe you're just starting your diamond painting journey and the big canvases intimidate you but um you wouldn't mind necessarily like trying one of these little ones. That's kind of what this series is geared to. Um, I also know that diamond painting can be somewhat of a cost prohibitive hobby. So I will do my best to share the prices and the date stamps at which I bought them because um, this... I actually had for like shop was doing one of those things where it says like oh your shop cash is gonna be multiplied by this much and then like here's the companies that you can spend it with sort of thing so I will be sure to include that apparently <laughs> I had to unbox this upside down oh my goodness so, like, this is the back of it, and then I just realized, oh, hello, here's the front. <laughs> oh. But I will definitely save that outer ribbon for sure, because that is very pretty packaging. Gosh, now that I got it to slide off the first time, I don't, I don't know that I'll be able to get it a second time. My goodness. Hold, please. 
Okay, and we're back. So uh, scan the QR code with your phone for a step-by-step -step video tutorial. That is very handy because they're at least um, acknowledging the fact this may be somebody's first time. Um, so yeah, this like, and then paintgem.com for their website. So this actually took some time to get to me because um, like usually shop has all of your information and stuff and you can pretty much buy anything that you want in as few as like five clicks or less, which is kind of scary, but also very convenient. Um, for whatever reason, my address in the shop system did not port over to paint jump correctly because I kept on getting a whole bunch of messages from UPS saying that my, um, address may be wrong. And I thought that it was like, a scam or something because there are plenty of those and I just like ignored them and then paint gem um they did not ship out my stuff like in a very timely manner I kept on checking the UPS uh tracking number they said like no we haven't even received it yet and then I had to reach out to their customer support and there was a little bit of back and forth with customer support, but um, Ashley did go ahead and make it right by uh, pulling another kit and then sending another one. So all is well. Um, hmm. All right. So relax through creativity. So I think that this is our toolkit. Okay, this is cute. So we have a white boat and we get heart-shaped wax and a caddy. Oh, that's cute. A white sparkle pen. We get like a 10 placer and a three placer. I'm just guessing on their size. And we get a plastic pair of tweezers. Oh, and I almost forgot. Comfort grip. And then the drills are marked in case you decide to store these um, like separate from the kit. Oh, cool. We have pre-cut stickers. That's a very beautiful color palette. Lots of like fall vibes, forest vibes. Oh, and then they come like in an envelope. I almost am getting like the Apple and Samsung packaging vibes. Uh, tips and tricks. Multi-placers speed up the process by applying three or ten gems at a time. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. A three-placer and a ten-placer. Framing. Frame your result without glass cover for extra sparkliness. Or maybe you could use museum glass because then it doesn't have a glare. But, <laughs> you know, sticker labels. Label the gem bags with the matching letter or symbol. Avoid dry out. Taking a break, place the clear film back on the adhesive layer. So that is actually something that... um. I thought could possibly happen but didn't really think was a thing because clearly I've diamond painted with the cover off for hours and um you know and I haven't 
experienced an issue with the glue, but maybe it can affect people. Interesting. Uh, need some help? We're here to help. Scan the QR code to open a chat with our team. Okay. Oh, and then you get your step-by-steps in here. So peel off the adhesive layer covering the canvas. Choose a letter or a symbol from the canvas. Use the color chart. Locate the corresponding gems bag and then pour your gems into the tray and shape to a line. Oh, and it continues. Cool. So step number five, dip the applicator into the heart shape wax. Number six, pick up a single drill or multiple using the multi-placer tool. Drills, gems, same thing, guys. Place the gem on the canvas's matching letter and repeat. Woohoo, you're ready to frame your masterpiece. And then I'm assuming that the order that I read these off to you in was the order that they're in inside the canvas. Well, the, the order that the mini canvases are in. So I think that maybe if you're looking at giving somebody a gift for maybe Christmas or their birthdays, like not just this set, but Paint Gem has like many of their miniature, of these miniature diamond painting sets. Like you can find something that maybe your person uh, likes and then you could totally do the kit for them, um, put it in between like sheets of cardboard to protect it and shipping in case you have to mail it. Stick that inside of a bubble mailer along with a gift card for like Michael's or Joann's or, you know, whatever hobby store. And then not only do they get like a beautiful piece of diamond art from you, but then also they have like you can like put a card in there with it and then you can say, hey, I did this diamond painting and I thought of you here's a little something to get you a frame or you know like whatever whatever the occasion like you like these could be very easily giftable and like a very thoughtful present for somebody for maybe their birthday or Christmas or something and then I believe we are getting to the end yep that's the end Um, so yeah, like, I definitely think that framing them, like, giving these out to people as gifts and then framing them or including, like, a, like a little, like, $20 gift card or whatever so that somebody can get a picture frame of their choice would definitely be an amazing gift idea. And then, oh, I noticed this. I what's included in your kit like they have seriously not wasted any real estate and i think that that is so awesome with their packaging design how like i mean if i really wanted to aside from like the plastic wrappers and things i could recycle it but also I can just like repackage everything up and then like store these relatively compactly. Like I just overall 10 out of 10 on their packaging design. Um, I thought that their customer service was okay when my uh, kit did not show up and then I don't remember exactly what all I paid for these, so I will go ahead and insert a screenshot right here of my invoice. Uh, 
I feel as though the diamond painting toolkit is uh, pretty good. My only gripe about that is uh, maybe include metal tweezers as opposed to the plastic tweezers because uh, the plastic tweezers, in my humble and honest opinion, are just not it. And I feel like um, maybe if they have to increase the uh, cost per unit by like a dollar or two to include metal tweezers, that would be wonderful. Um, like part of me too, as like a seasoned diamond painter, kind of is like expecting that those ends would have been scalloped and poked. But then like, as I think back, like, you know, if they're going to get framed or anything, or if they're going to be not moved around a whole lot, they're going to stay in the box. We may not need that. So that could potentially be a moot point. But, um, Overall, I am really pleased with Paint Gem. Uh, definitely money well spent, and I am so glad that I unboxed the OG as the first in this series. With that being said, like the video, and if you want to keep on watching there's gonna be more stay tuned for part two bye guys